using Avery 3271 on Avery.com print. They are the fabric transfers. Here it is. Six unprinted sheets. That's what it looks like. I had to flip it horizontal for a mat and the print the print settings of properties and then i have a piece of muslin material a lightweight muslin i'll remove some of the wrinkles out of this muslin material it's very lightweight i use it a lot for testing projects and things like that take my actual printout turn it upside down and just make sure it's covering here my printout is covering the fabric so all around the iron is set for the highest temperature and i turn the steam off of the iron and it says to move your iron around for about 45 seconds Oh, I'm supposed to use heavy pressure too. Let me remember that. All right. Now it's supposed to sit for two minutes. I see a little piece coming up already over here. Let's make sure we get that down. I want to get all the edges down so that when I pull them up, everything will adhere where it's supposed to and transfer. I don't know if I'm giving enough pressure. I'll try a little harder for pressure. And that. Ah, there you go. Probably too much pressure. The instructions called for you to iron on a hard surface, which I have a very hard surface under here because I have a an ironing pad that I made up and it has wood in it and fabric on top. So it said get a hard surface and also lay a towel up under that. So that's what we did. And once again, it's 3271 fabric transfer, full sheet iron on, fabric transfer, light for light color fabrics. And um, I ordered this from Amazon. And it says that it's easy to customize with a free template, which was free on Avery. And create personalized and customize your own fabric transfer. Idea for t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, bags, and more. Number one, brightest color tested. Lasts longer for use on light colored cotton, polyester blend, or 100% cotton fabrics. This is what it looks like, the cover sheet, once you pull it up, simple like that, toss that out. And this is what we are left with. Came out just fine. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yep. Yeah. If you take a good look at the actual lines from the paper that was being printed, you'll see that this is the straight edge that I have to work with. And I like to try to find a straight edge before I start cutting. So I will line it up with that straight edge and I'll cut from there first. I have cut a few of them off just to give you an idea of how I plan to use them. I have several different sets of um, sewing labels that I use and I usually print them using muslin fabric, freezer paper, things like that. So this came out nice.
they look very vintage like the color thanks very much for watching have a great day